Welcome everyone to the MGM channel. I'm your host, Cornish Games Knights. Let's talk about weird games on Steam. So I played some really, really weird games. Uh, I used to do a thing called Steam Random Indie Month where I play some weird and terrible games and maybe good. And I found the most weirdest but good games. So we're going to do a top five of the weirdest games that are on Steam, but also fun. <laughs> so we're coming up at number five called Room. Yeah, um, I I'm not going to lie to you guys. Uh, it is the weirdest game I've ever, ever seen already. And... For somewhat, it, it's, there's no content for it. What? No, no, even, con no, 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 no. All right. Okay, so, Room is an interactive art experience born in the minds of two holographic entities. Uh, a guy called Michael and Serge. I think I pronounced that right. I'm not even going to pronounce the second name. But all I can say is it's a surreal exploration game. For some reason, I liked it. <laughs> I actually like it. It doesn't make sense to me, that game, but I enjoyed it. Um, that became the what the heck of the moments of 2020 when I played it. Uh, I believe it came out on the 9th of November. And I also think it's like free to play. They got it's, The art stuff's cool, but it's so surreal. Like a gazelle? <laughs> Like an elk, <laughs> he landed again. He ran, ran, ran. He scored a touchdown. Number four, we have Goat of Duty. That's right, not Call of Duty, Goat of Duty. Now, I, when I first saw it, I thought, you know what, this ain't bad. And I, I got on it, and I was like, what? No, no, what is going on here? <laughs> there are some crazy characters to pick from, uh, from the goat style. <laughs> Did you not? It's just basically a goat with a, like a, I, I guess, a weapon on his back, and it, it runs like a Quake style game or an Unreal Tournament game. It's a good laugh, but it, it made me think, what the heck, man? It was weird, but so much fun at the same time. I believe it's £8.99, but in American dollars, it is $11.72. I think I got that right. Put in the comments if I got that right. Like a gazelle? <laughs> like an elk? <laughs> he landed again, he ran, ran, ran! He scored a touchdown! And now number three, we got a game called Punch with an A between the P. Um, yeah, I think a lot of people might know this game. Uh, it's basically a body build, one one physic online battle where you can beat each other up, throw stones. Um, weird game. <laughs> But I enjoyed it with a friend. Uh, we had a right laugh on it. Um, currently, it's free. So currently, it's free at the moment. But I believe they have added an expansion pack, which costs ten pounds twenty-nine in the US dollars, uh, thirteen dollars and forty cents. Um, good game. If you want to try it, it's free. So, <laughs> but <laughs> it's just silly. <laughs> like a gazelle. <laughs> Like an elk? <laughs> he landed again, he ran, ran, ran! He scored a touchdown! And we're coming up at number two. Now, number two is a really cool game. Uh, it's the craziest and surreal, weird, pixelated game. Paint the town red. Now, your object, you can play this in co-op or do single player, but uh, you basically start a pub fight, really. <laughs> you literally paint the town red. Um, weird. <laughs> it was a weird experience fighting people who we were like pixelated, but it was just a lot of fun. Uh, it is pretty detailed, I might say, but uh, yeah, I, I would pick that up if I was you because what the heck, man? <laughs> Currently, the game is £15.49p, which is in US dollars $20.18. Now, it might be a little bit pricey, but there is lots of levels. There's even level editors, which is amazing. And I remember playing it back in the early access days. And for me, it was just, it just blew my mind of what the heck am I actually playing here? You know? So pick it up and see if you like it. Uh, that's what I gotta say. I personally, I, I enjoyed the heck out of it, but I still thought it was weird as well. Like a gazelle? <laughs> like an elk? <laughs> he landed again, he ran, ran, ran. He scored a touchdown! 
And now we're coming back down to number one, which is one of those games I've known for for a while, and I still think to this day it is the weirdest thing, and that is called Blood and Bacon. <laughs> God, where do I start? <laughs> Blood and Bacon is a multiplayer for up to six players. First person that pits heavily armed players against undead dead stock. Um, giant killer pigs. <laughs> That's what I've got to say. <laughs> Hence the name Blood and Bacon. I know, like, okay, alright, 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 alright. So, what I can remember was there's loads of pigs, there's a guy with one leg in the farm, and he keeps yelling at you, telling you to go out there and take him out. There's a meat grinder. There is lots of guns. And it's just non-stop carnage of blood and bacon. God, I can't, I can't stop saying that. I really can't stop saying that, for God's sake. Do you know the weirdest thing at all? The game is still updating. They're still adding content to it. Like, for 79p or a dollar... For uh, Blood and Bacon, that's really, really good. The latest update was in the 26th of October, and it says here, and I quote, the expansion update adds a permanent lower level tunnel system. Why? why? No. Okay, that's cool. I just, I just love the fact this game is still updating. And you know what? The best thing about it is, it got an overwhelmingly positive. You are insane, dude, dude, weird but amazing. I'm glad I put this on my number one. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the top five of the weirdest games I've played this year. I'd like to thank you for taking this opportunity to watch this video. Um, again, if you like, hit the subscribe. We're trying to bounce up and get more subscribers to see how well this uh, channel's going. So far, you guys are enjoying it. I'm loving the feedback you've given me. I, I really appreciate it. I'm glad to be here. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Take care and have a wonderful day.